Hey there, my name is Joe Ritter from Prosist and today I'm really excited to show you a great cool demo about media servers and smartphones. So what will you see in this video? Uh, what you will learn is how to turn your smartphone devices into full-fledged DLNA media servers. Use case for that is you take your phone while you're on the go um, to take pictures and videos. When you come back you put your phone on the shelf on the desk and you play back your media content from your DLNA home media devices like uh, the Sony PlayStation, the Xbox, your TV or whatever. So um, this demo will incorporate three devices that are all connected uh, through a local Wi-Fi that is to simulate your home network. The first one is the Sony PlayStation, the second one is the picture frame and the last one most importantly is the smartphone phone, in this case the Windows mobile device. This uh, Windows mobile device has been extended by an application platform called OSGI on which uh, the, the actual media server um, software runs. It uses UPnP uh, to find and bind to local devices on the network. So let's take a look on how this works in practice. So what you see here is the demo setup. Um, in the middle that's the, the Sony PlayStation. Here on the right hand side you see the, uh, the picture frame that's in uh, Philips off the shelf uh, picture frame device and um, obviously the, uh, the PlayStation needs a screen and that's, that's the Samsung display you see here. Um, as I said before these uh, two devices as well as the mobile phone are connected to um, a local Wi-Fi network. So the most important device of this demo is actually the mobile phone. So let me show how that works. Here it is. Uh, it is um, an HTC Touch Diamond um, device off the shelf, in this case um, from, from Sprint, the, the North American carrier. And um, yeah, it is um, equipped with OSGI, which is a background service, uh, which also hosts the, the media server. The media server itself is pretty much a um, uh, headless application, so there's, there's no, no UI that I could demonstrate here. It just sits in the background and, and serves content. So, um, so the content at source actually comes from the local gallery application. So if you want to fill up the gallery with pictures, which is what I'm showing here, you just open up the, um, the, 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 the local viewfinder application from you know, for Windows Mobile. Um, let's point this to the demo setup. Oops, cancel that. That's some, some dialogue. So let's point it at the, um, at the demo setup, for instance, and, and, and shoot picture. So um, now we kind of put this picture into the gallery application and um, go out here. Let's, uh, let's see what's happening here. Okay, um, let's close this application, go back, okay and close the camera. So what, So this is all you know basically just Windows Mobile stuff. We, we use the, the camera application to take a picture um, and that's that's pretty much all. So, so the interesting part now begins as this media server on this device will now serve content to the other uh, devices that are in the network. So let's take a look at the the most exciting part of the demo uh, which is the uh, the PlayStation screen. Um, this is to, um, to illustrate you know, how the PlayStation plays back your media content from the phone. So what you see here is the top level menu um, of the PlayStation and what you want to do to play back your pictures is you go to the photo menu. And uh, once you're there you, you get a list of um, media servers the PlayStation found in the local network. Uh, the one highlighted here is called Titan Media Server which is the one that sits on our mobile, mobile phone device. If you click on that, uh, you get a list of manual, um, sorry, physical um, um, storage locations on the phone. Um, I select uh, device memory and uh, end up in, in my pictures. This is actually really the, the, the physical location on, on where the pictures are stored on my, on my mobile phone. Um, if you go into that, you, you select slideshow and, and, and uh, click on play. And um, what's happening now is the, the PlayStation is loading all my pictures um, from the device which are served obviously by, by the media server that sits on the device. Um, once loading is completed, uh, which is now the case, um, uh, the PlayStation um, you know, puts the, the, the pictures it found on the media server into this nice uh, um, slideshow program. Um, it's, it's, it's kind of cool because you can um, use the 
um, the, the, uh, the, the manual controls of the, the PlayStation to animate your slideshow. Um, so what, what you see here is actually the picture we took previously, um, you know, when, when I showed you how to, how to take pictures on, on, uh, on the Windows mobile device. So you can actually, you know, use that, that PlayStation now to play back your, your media content. And, and notice I didn't do any, you know, any wiring or any configuration on my mobile device. It, it is just, just available to this um, PlayStation. So let's take a look at the, the last part of our um, demo here. Um, this is about the picture frame. Uh, what you see here is this, this off-the-shelf uh, Philips device, uh, which has a built-in Wi-Fi um, connectivity and, um, and, and UPnP so that this, this device can automatically uh, find media servers in the lo local network. So what you want to do um, um, to, to have this device play back your content from the mobile phone is you, you, um, you point it uh, to the media server on, on the phone. The way to do that is um, you go into, into options. There are some, you know, some, some keys on the back. Uh, you select online um, and then you, you, you get several options, one of which is, is, is network service. And here you actually find the list of media servers. And the one on top is, is the Titan media server. Again, that's the one that, that we have installed on our mobile device. So if you click on, on OK, um, the same thing happens as, as with the PlayStation. Now this picture frame loads the pictures from my mobile device. And uh, you pretty much you know, get them instantly. Uh, this was, uh, was a meeting where I demonstrated this, uh, this demo. Um, and again, don't, don't mind the, the, the actual pictures. Um, do mind that, that they are played play back from, from a mobile phone. And you see actually they, they you know, the same the same um, pictures that are um, played back on the PlayStation. And, um, and yeah, essentially what's happening here is um, both devices are pulling content from a mobile device uh, simultaneously. This, by the way, is Mr. Willis Jai, Kai Hakbat. Um, you might want to remember his face. Anyway, this was the demo. I hope you enjoyed it. The next step is to make this uh, media server available on Windows Mobile and Android. Yeah, there's a whole lot more you can do with uh, mobile OS GI. So, so the media server was really just one example. So uh, visit me at uh, my blog at uh, mobileosgi.blogspot.com or shoot me an email and um, stay tuned.